Hey guys, it's Bianca. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hit the subscribe button. And this week, I am going to be trying out this new food service called Daily Harvest. And pretty much what it is, is these little cups of like frozen, they have smoothies, they have harvest bowls, which is just a bunch of like vegetables and stuff like that. Everything is vegan. They have quinoa and some things. Um, I think they have spaghetti squash, just like any, just like stuff like that. And then they also have coffee. They have uh, matcha lattes, which I got some of those. And they have soup. And then I got an oatmeal bowl. And they also have chia seed bowls. So there's different prices and deals you can sign up for. And for this one, I got nine cups. Um, you can do 12 cups, you can do 24, and if you get a higher amount of cups, then it's obviously going to be less money, but I just got like a week's worth, so throughout this week, I'm just going to be cooking this food for y'all. I'll record all of it and just let you guys know how it tastes and everything, and all of this for the nine cups was originally like $68, but I used a promo code, so I got it for 48. So I'll link that promo code below for you guys if you guys are interested in Daily Harvest after watching this video. And I'll upload this in about a week or two weeks whenever I get to editing. So here we go. So now I'm just gonna show you guys what I got. This one is a ginger and greens smoothie. Um, this one is apple and green smoothie and what's really nice about this is it has a little straw so after you make the smoothie you just pour it back into this and you can drink it straight out of this cup next I have this tomato zucchini minestrone soup Um, this one is a harvest bowl. It's lentil and tomato bolognese. I think that's how you say it. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. This is lentil and mesquite chili soup. This one is the apple and cinnamon oat bowl. I'm so excited to eat this in the morning. This is another smoothie. This is the mint cacao. I don't know how you say it, but... Mint chocolate chip is like my favorite ice cream, so really excited to try that. This is the matcha latte. So this comes with latte pods. So there's three of them in here, but you get it for the price of like one cup. And they also have like coffees and stuff like that. And this one is a quinoa and chipotle harvest bowl. So that is all of them. Hey guys, so it is early morning actually it's like 10 a.m it's not early but i'm going to make a smoothie because i feel on my grind today because i have a chemistry test at 8 a.m tomorrow morning so i'm gonna grab one of the smoothies from the fridge hmm which one do i want to do today there's apple and greens ginger and greens and the mint one i honestly think i'm gonna do ginger and greens so i'm gonna go put this in the blender okay so what this has is spinach banana avocado ginger dates lemon apple cider vinegar flaxseed and coconut so choose your liquid, we go with a light option like coconut water, fill, cup up, toss it all in the blender. I'm, the only thing I have is almond milk, so I'm just going to pour some of that into the top of it. Ooh, that, that avocado looks so good. I'm like scared, is it supposed to fill up more? I think that's it. Okay. Okay, so now I'm just going to put it all in there. <laughs> I feel like it needs to be like chopped up a little bit. Okay, if it needs any more, I'm just gonna put some water in it. Okay, so this looks 
pretty good to me. So now I'm just going to pour it back into the cup. I think since I put water in it, there's like a little bit more than I should have made. This is really good. I'm glad I chose the smoothie. And I'm glad I put almond milk in it. And that makes it just a little bit sweeter. But this is super good. And I wonder how many calories. 80 calories. That's crazy. Honestly, for everything that's in there, that is crazy. Amazing. Hey guys, today I've already kind of started making what I'm going to make, but I am making the tomato and zucchini um, minestrone soup. And what I just did was I took this free range chicken broth and just poured it to the top of this. And I am just now going to pour it into this bowl and I'm just going to heat it. Okay, so it's literally been boiling for like 30 seconds and I'm pretty sure these big chunks are just chunks of like tomato juice. So those just need to soften and the soup will get a little bit thicker. But what is in this soup is tomato, zucchini, chickpea, kale, onion, olive oil, garlic, Himalayan sea salt, basil, and oregano. And you could use water or broth, but I just thought that broth would be more tasty. So I will get back with you guys on how this tastes and then I am going to go cycling. So hopefully this sets well with my stomach before I work out. And yeah. And another thing that is really nice is that I could either put it on a stove top or I could put it in the microwave for three to five minutes. So, I mean, if you don't have access to an oven and you literally just like brought that cup to like school, if you're still in high school or like you're in college, you just have a microwave, like you can easily just pop it in the microwave for three to five minutes. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to taste test this soup. The tomato zucchini minestrone. So here we go. It's really hot. I literally just took it off the stove. I like love chickpeas, so that's why I ordered this one. Oh, that fucking burned me. It's like, I'm like, sorry, I'm like trying to give you guys a review on this and it's like literally burning my mouth. So it's like hard. Mm. Honestly, I think what makes this is the chickpeas. Like without them, it'd just be like a vegetable soup and I don't think I'd dig that. But definitely the way to go is chicken broth. Sorry, my hair looks like, there's like an animal on top of my head. Yeah, chicken broth is first off so healthy for you. If you're sick, drink chicken broth. And second off, I just feel like water, which is honestly like water down and make it taste like super weird. So. If you're gonna do it, go with chicken broth. Hey guys, so today I am making a harvest bowl, which has lentil and tomato bolognese, bolognese in it. And the ingredients are green lentil, tomato, cream and I mushroom, kale, carrot, leek, olive oil, garlic, basil, and oregano. And what I'm going to actually do with this is I'm going to make some spaghetti and then I'm just going to put this over the spaghetti. And I actually have a picture that I was inspired by on the Daily Harvest Instagram. I'll put it right here. And it was just, so I made the spaghetti and then put this over it and it looked so good. 
So I'm actually really excited for this. Okay, so now I just put it in this pan and it's heating up and the tomato was in kind of ice blocks, so that melted and I'm about to put it over the spaghetti. Is the final thing. What is it called? The final product. And it's really hot. Very bare. Definitely needs more tomato sauce, but also I could have made too much noodles. So this is the apple and green smoothie, and what's in it is apple, cucumber, celery, kale, spinach, ginger, lemon, and turmeric. Okay, so I just made this smoothie and I honestly don't really like it and I don't know if it's because my smoothie didn't grate it up enough but I keep getting kale leaves in my mouth and it's like really gross so just not really digging this flavor hey guys today I am making the hardest quinoa chipotle bowl and what this has in it is Quinoa, zucchini, squash, kale, tomato, purple corn, onion, bell peppers, mesquite, chipotle, and I can't say that word, but I'm lazy so I just popped it in the microwave instead of putting it on the stove top. So this is what the bowl looks like and I'm just going to add some olive oil drizzle. This bowl is actually pretty good, good flavor, but it's really spicy and I don't like spicy. Hey guys, it's Bianca. I am about to head to yoga. I'm looking really rough right now. I just woke up, but today for daily harvest, I am making this matcha latte. And I'm so excited because the ingredients are matcha, lemongrass, coconut, MCT oil, maple, and chillerella. So I really like this just because I'm lactose intolerant so I usually try to stay away from milk. It doesn't like make me like throw up or have like a reaction or, or anything like that. It's just it just makes my mucus really thick TMI so it's really nice that this is made with coconut milk and also if you buy these there's three separate pods inside of it so like these are the pods so for one cup you're getting three pods the other one's stuck in there so I think that's really nice so pretty much what it's having me do is take this out of here put it in this cup and then I'm gonna pour some almond milk in it and then just pop it in the microwave for one to two minutes so right now it's like completely frozen okay so see it's just like a little pod you just pop right in there it actually looks like really gross right now okay so you can definitely taste the lemongrass in this and it's not very sweet even though I put almond milk in it, but like, it's pretty good. Hey guys, so technically I never did an outro for the Daily Harvest video and I'm starting a new vlog today because I'm going to Florida. So this is my little outro. I hope you guys enjoyed the Daily Harvest video. If I have a discount code, I will put it in the description box. And honestly, I think there were like two of them in my fridge that I didn't make, but I made the majority of them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one.